Until now, and uh, after this act of aggression towards Qatar, we have not received any uh, justification or motives or uh, details on why such uh, aggression was uh, taken in the first place. Um, we all met in Riyadh, uh, where uh, nothing was raised. Uh, we were uh, part of a very successful conference uh, that uh, put all the efforts on, on uh, countering uh, terrorism, uh, which Qatar took part of. His Highness uh, Sheikh Tamim uh, attended this conference. Uh, Qatar had signed uh, on, on establishment of the center of uh, combating financial terrorism there. So we don't understand uh, where is this coming from. Well, it appears the Saudi Arabians and the UAE, they don't believe Qatar is serious about combating terrorism, and it seems Donald Trump agrees with them. Well, you know, all, this are, uh, all these issues are based on uh, fabricated allegations. Uh, on uh, certain uh, media reports uh, that only mention without uh, putting proof. Um, you know, our door is open. Uh, we always said we are sincere about, uh, about uh, our efforts in countering terrorism. Uh, no one came up and told us there are some issues. Uh, have they had the, the possibility to come and talk to us, we would have uh, engaged, of course. But this isn't the first time Qatar has been accused of funding terrorism, Al-Qaeda-linked groups in Syria, uh, ISIL even, Hillary Clinton, we have the WikiLeaks letter where she says ISIL is being funded by both Qatar and Saudi Arabia, in fact, she said in her, in her letter. I mean, it's, it's, common conversational, it's a com common conversational issue in Washington that everyone knows Qatar is involved in some way with it, extremism. It depends who is pushing the argument. There are certain institutions uh, pushing uh, uh, arguments that Qatar is financing uh, terrorism without any uh, proof. Uh, what matters uh, is the cooperation with the United States. Uh, the cooperation with the United States is very uh, solid and uh, we have close coordination with this administration and the previous administration and they know uh, the efforts that we are uh, undertaking in this field. But Donald Trump, we understand, called the Saudi king. Has he called the emir in Qatar yet though, today? How close is this cooperation with Trump? Because Donald Trump is giving all the indication that as far as he's concerned, the Saudis have convinced him that Qatar is not helping and, in fact, is hindering the fight against extremism. Um, again, there is no, no ground for these accusations. Uh, but the president thinks, apparently, that there are, so that's quite a serious problem, isn't it? I, I think, I think uh, the uh, cooperation with the United States uh, is, is a long-standing cooperation, and it speaks for itself. Um, um, uh, there are uh, good cooperation with, uh, as I mentioned, the institutions here in Washington. Uh, and uh, is the president irrelevant in all of this? Not, of course, he is relevant. Uh, but uh, we, we uh, again, uh, there are some proofs that Qatar is uh, combating uh, terrorism and it's doing uh, important efforts. Uh, and uh, in, in, in Riyadh. Qatar was commended uh, on that uh, when uh, the president uh, mentioned that uh, al Hudaid base and the role of Qatar is crucial for the fight of terrorism. But Donald Trump hasn't contacted the Emir of Qatar since this all blew up. Not, not, not as this moment. The, you mentioned the airbase. That's interesting. Um, is that a point of leverage? Do you think in negotiations? I mean, how does that? The New York Times, it's for not, example, explains says, well, maybe Qatar could make it difficult for the U.S. Others say, well, maybe the U.S. could say could make it difficult for Qatar and say, we'll go to the U.A.E. Not at all. Uh, our commitment uh, to the United States uh, is a solid commitment. Our commitment to our allies in the uh, coalition uh, is a solid commitment, and our uh, commitment to our regional. Uh, efforts is also a solid. So um, this is not uh, at all uh, a question. But maybe not for you, but what if Donald Trump says, and the Saudis or the UAE, who've long wanted more of a U.S. military presence in the UAE, as opposed to that presence being in Qatar, says either you give in on all of these issues that Saudi Arabia and the UAE have problems with, or we'll move the airbase to the UAE. We, we have agreements with the United States uh, govern uh, the presence of the, of the base, and we will honor them. Will Donald Trump honor them, do you think? I mean, given, given the tone of these tweets and the conversations we understand cannot, he's having with the I Saudi cannot king. Speak, I so. cannot speak on behalf of the United States of America. 
uh, as long as we are concerned, we will honor our commitments towards the United States and the agreements that has been signed with them. But what leverage does Qatar have in this, in this argument? Um, first, we need to understand what is their argument. Uh, and then we can uh, discuss it. Uh, our leverage is that we are open and uh, we are not afraid to say if there is something wrong that we will fix it. So How, it however, no one came to us and said there is something wrong. The hasn't demanded a kick out Hamas, for example, or close down Al Jazeera? Uh, look, I'm, I would like to be very uh, clear on the issue of Hamas. Uh, our engagement with Hamas is an engagement in the context of the peace process. So uh, that is ha that, that's very important to clarify. It's an engagement uh, in the context of the uh, peace process. We know that in order to uh, start the negotiations between the parties, the Israelis and the Palestinians, first we need to have a reconciliation between the Palestinians themselves. And this is being done with the coordination of the United States. So there's no specific list of demands? Is that what you're saying from the... From the yes, till, till this moment, we don't have a list of demands. Um, what do you make then of Donald Trump, though, um, apparently thinking that Saudi Arabia can be used as a spearhead against the funding of Islamic extremism. That appears to be his position. Against, and not only against Islamic extremism, but apparently the government of Qatar. Qatar, Qatar is going to take part of any effort that uh, will be uh, in, in, uh, in stabilizing uh, our region and will be uh, countering uh, terrorism, uh, whether the leadership of the United States or, or the leadership of Saudi Arabia. Uh, we are part. What do you think of the timing of all this? Why, why now? Um, again, uh, it came as a shock and surprise. We, we had a very good conference. Uh, but didn't Donald Trump perhaps embolden the Saudis to take this action, do you think? I, until we know really what, what uh, uh, their requests are, uh, I cannot comment on that. I don't, I don't have any information. Uh, solid to say who were involved who won. Well, there was a report in the Financial Times that there was a ransom paid for a hunting party in Iraq, 700 That's million goes true. to uh, Iran and that Shia militias, true. 300 goes to Al-Qaeda linked groups. That is not true. Uh, the efforts were, uh, uh, the, the, the efforts were done uh, by uh, Qatari government uh, and uh, we coordinated with the Iraqi government on this and ha there is no ransom went to any of uh, these uh, uh, militias. Again, uh, all these are based on fabrications uh, and we have to take in, in, in consideration uh, the evolution of these fabrications. Uh, there was a, a campaign uh, starting in, in, uh, uh, in D.C. Uh, against uh, the state of Qatar from the UAE, actually, at the main. So who, who do you think is driving this? Is it the UAE? Is it the Saudis? Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Uh, I really don't know who is driving, uh, who is driving um, uh, this campaign. Uh, but there is no doubt that there's a campaign on the state of Qatar, uh, not only in, the, in Washington, D.C., but again, it, it happened in, in, uh, in our region after uh, the cyber attack on the Qatar news agencies. So. Uh, I don't know uh, who's behind it, but uh, for sure, uh, recent events that happened in, in, uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, um, in, in cyber, uh, in hacking uh, an email of the ambassador of UAE. Uh, Do you think the Russians are behind this, as is being reported on some channels? The, the hacking uh, of, uh, of the Qatar news agency is uh, still under investigation. I, we didn't come to a conclusion on it. But if I may say, uh, going back to the hacking of the uh, United Arab Emirates uh, email, uh, surprisingly, uh, it shows uh, that uh, there is this sentiment uh, against, uh, against Qatar. But again, where is the room for compromise? It seems that the Saudis and the UAE have a great deal of leverage on their side, not least because of the geographical position of Qatar. Um, they are against your support of the Muslim Brotherhood and Hamas, and you said Hamas clearly you feel is part of the peace process. They're against Al Jazeera, they're against your, your, your um, alliances with Iran. Can you see any room for maneuver in any of these issues where you can compromise with Saudi Arabia? And I don't know, I don't think what Saudi Arabia, if they, don't, if they haven't given you demands, but it would seem that they, they don't just want compromise, they want you to stop 
your contacts with all of these various groups? Uh, again, we, there, there are no requests yet. Uh, however, I would like to uh, talk about uh, the relation, as, as you mentioned, with Iran. Our relation with Iran uh, is in line with the GCC uh, position. So there isn't anything out of the ordinary uh, with, with Iran. It's a neighboring country. And uh, uh, again, it's in, in line with the, the position that all GCC countries uh, took. Uh, in terms of the Islamic Brotherhood, uh, the state of Qatar has reiterated many times that uh, there is no support to Islamic Brotherhood. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, certain, certain parties don't want to believe that. I mean, we have proved that. And uh, they are still convinced that we are supporting it. Is there an end game though here on the Saudis that you, from the Saudis that you can see? We've long heard that they, frankly, perhaps want to just get rid of the royal family in Qatar, replace them with someone else. Can you see that as, a, as something that, I mean, this, this can't come out of the blue for you, surely. We, we've long seen the tensions. Is, is that something you think is happening here? Um, the, the royal family uh, of Qatar is, is in a very, very uh, solid relationship with its people. Uh, and that's what matters. Uh, other than that, uh, Qatar is open to discuss uh, any issues uh, that uh, our uh, brothers in the GCC. Ah, so you could shift some of these positions within the GCC on Iran or the Muslim Brotherhood or Hamas or Al Jazeera? Um, as I told you, we can shift any position if we believe that this is a wrong position and if the, the parties would sit with us and convince us that they are wrong. 